up lovers how are you guys doing today so i'm super excited for this video because i'm going to be doing a first impression on the bh cosmetics weekend festival palette just looks like this um i'm sure you've already seen the inside because everyone is talking about this palette right now which is it's exciting seeing bh cosmetics get the hype that they deserve because i have so many palettes from them that i love um so i was just when I saw this initially, I was like, yes, here for it, but then I was like, oh, I don't need it. Like, I don't, I couldn't decide. I kept going back and forth, and I didn't buy it when it released, and then I saw on the Beach Cosmetics website that it had free shipping, so I added it in my cart. I was going to check out and everything, and literally, like, I could not, like, it kept telling me to create an account, and I created an account, and then I'd, like, try to log on, and it would not work, and you couldn't, like, just log out as a guest. Like, I don't know what was going on there, so I ended up not buying it, and I was like, you know what? That's probably a good thing. It's all good, um, but then I was shopping on Ulta the other day, and I saw that they had already had it on Ulta, and I was like, yes, like, I live for Ulta points, plus I had a 350 off coupon code, um, so basically I ended up getting the palette for, like, $15, and it was enough, because I'm gonna do a haul, um, after I finish filming this, and I literally got so much free stuff from Ulta, it's crazy, but... Yes, that's what made me jump the gun. I could not wait any longer. Plus, I keep seeing such beautiful looks with this palette. So, I'm very excited. So, this is the packaging. I love it. I love the sunset. I love the palm trees. So, here's what the inside of the palette looks like. It is so stunning. I love all the color in here. There are seven matte shades and 13 shimmers. And it's just, it's super beautiful. So... Let's stop talking and let's just get this on my eyes. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start off with this really pretty teal shade right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and place that in my crease. Hello pigment. I like just barely dip my brush. Dang. I mean, I think I'm just going to build that up a little bit more. Just because this is like the only like bluish green matte shade so i kind of just want to use this like really build it up in my crease and blend upwards like as a transition honestly you guys the last beach cosmetics palette that i tried i think it was the miss bella one which originally was like just in europe and then it came over and i ordered it right away and i was excited to test it out and i ended up not liking it at all i did a full review um so i just felt a little like ugh, like, I hate whenever I have fails because I barely ever have things that I truly don't like at all that I can't make work. So that stunk, and I think that's one of the reasons where I was like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to get the next one, but this is so pigmented. That was my problem with the other palette. It, like, I had no pigment at all. And I had some people who spoke German, I guess, and watched her videos, and they said that she likes unpigmented eyeshadows, and I'm like, girl, cannot relate. Okay, so next I think I'm going to go into this really pretty cobalt blue shade right here, and I'm going to use this to deepen my outer V. I think I'm going to go in with this first, and then I'm going to cut the crease, and then... I'll end up going back to that and kind of, you know, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> I feel like every video that I've seen using this palette so far, except one, they only use like mostly matte shades because they were trying out the eyelights because they got this in PR, which I mean, I want to try the eyelights out, even though they're getting really bad reviews, I'll probably still order one. Um, so I really want to focus on shimmers more today, just in case you guys are like trying to decide whether to purchase this or not. I'm just going to build that up just a little bit because I really want to deepen it up. There is a dark brown shade, which I guess I could kind of mix in. Or there's a dark purple. I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't really want to use any neutrals, and I kind of want to just stay with blues and greens, so I might just keep this as dark as it gets. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease. I'm going to use the Suva Beauty Hydra Cream Base in Social. It just looks like this. It's a neon green shade. Um, you can use any primer, any concealer, any like eyeshadow stick or cream eyeshadow. You can use whatever you have to cut your crease and you get a similar look. I just really like this neon green and just want to get more use out of it. Okay, so really quickly, all across the lid, I'm going to start on the inner corner with this really pretty yellow shade, and then I'm going to go to this light blue right here, then I'm going to go to the lime green, and then work my way over to that cobalt blue. 
Okay, pigment. Dang, you guys. I'm blown away. So, it's actually like 77 degrees outside right now, which I live in Pennsylvania, and it has been like... I know it's supposed to be spring, but it has been so cold. So, I'm like... I want to take a walk whenever I finish filming, and when my son wakes up, like, I feel like it's just... I have to take a walk like it's too nice outside to not be outside but I think I'm probably gonna scare my neighbors with this eye look <laughs> going into that green shade now hmm I feel like that green because I put the yellow on top of the green base it looks like I went from green to blue to green I don't know if that's quite the look that I wanted it looks like the same color that's okay. Um, there's a lighter yellow in the palette I can just cover that up with. These shimmers, though, are performing really well. Okay. So before I go and do the outer V, I'm just going to take this shade right here, which is called Magical. It's like a light gold, and I'm just going to pack that onto the inner part of the lid. Just kind of make that original yellow a little lighter, because I want the colors to not be the same. Okay, yeah, that definitely helps. And then last but not least, going back into that cobalt blue. I'm just going to pack it on a little bit before I blend. I'm just going to take that original blending brush, no additional product, and just again blending out the edges. Just making sure everything is as soft as I want them, or as I want it to be. So really quickly, I'm just going to go ahead and use the Inglot Gel Liner number 77 and do my liner. So I got these lashes on sale at Ulta. I think it was like $3 for the pack. So I think I'm going to try them out and throw them on real quick. And by real quick, I mean I'll see you in like 30 minutes. Okay guys, so I'm actually feeling really positive because I love the way that these lashes look. I think that they look nice on my eyes and they were easy to put on. I only had to do them one time. I don't know who I am actually wearing lashes, not hating the way that they feel or look like. So really quickly, I'm just going to do my face makeup off camera to save time um, since we're focusing on the palette today. But I will be back to finish off the lower lash line together. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the lower lash line. I'm going to start off with that really pretty matte shade that we used um, on the crease. And I'm just going to blend that underneath. Now I'm going to go ahead and take that cobalt blue right here and just do the outer third, kind of connect. And then last but not least, I'm going to keep the lower lash line a little bit more simple compared to the top, but I'm going to go into that really pretty shimmery light blue. And I'm just going to put that right here. Ooh, so pretty. I'm so glad I bought this. I feel like I have like 800 million looks I'm thinking of doing. So there's two highlight shades in the palette. One is more like neutral golden and then the other is like white with like a bluish purple tone to it. I know that the swatches on my fingers don't look super pigmented, but I barely even touched the colors. I just wanted to see how they looked. I think I'm going to go in with the cooler colored one, the purplish bluish shade. really pretty I'm just gonna take any excess off that brush and then I'm gonna go into that golden highlighter shade as well and I'm just gonna go underneath my brow just add a little brow bone highlight I know some people don't like brow bone highlights but I like love it so much it's ridiculous I have this really pretty eyeliner from City Color Cosmetics it's just in the shade Lagoon and it like matches the color scheme of my eyes so I'm just gonna do that on my waterline and then I'm just going to throw some mascara on real quick. And then one last step for the eyes. This is extra. You totally don't have to do this. But I love this Pixie Fairy Light in the shade Crystalline. I've raved about this. And it's so pretty. It's just like a white, um, like almost translucent base. But all the sparkles in it are like different colors. Like it's like the rainbow. Um, it's so pretty in person. Like I can't even explain. So I'm just going to pop that onto the inner corner of my eyes. 
I don't know what to do for lips today, so I think I'm just going to play it safe, and I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal J.Lo's Nude Lipstick. I love this. Um, unfortunately, it's not cruelty-free, but it's in my Project Pan, um, which I really need to do an update on, but I kind of stink, and I don't even want to tell you guys how bad I've been doing. So, I'm just going to use this today. Plus, it's like very hydrating, and my lips are... So here is the final look. I really love how it came out. I think that the shadows just speak for themselves. I'm going to hold off on my final thoughts for just a minute and we're going to go ahead and swatch the palette together first. Um, obviously I was only able to apply a portion of the shades to my eyes today. I do feel like I have a good like idea of how I feel about this palette already. Um, but I just wanted to go ahead and swatch everything so that I can give you a full well-rounded opinion. So I'm just going to swatch on my arm here. Hopefully that is okay for y'all. Sometimes I do like the swatches in the background and whatnot, but I really kind of want to just talk through my thoughts as I swatch them. So I'm just going to start off with the first row and I'm just doing like one little like circle motion in each. I don't like sit here and dig or anything. Like I'm not trying to, I never try to, um, ah, I can't remember what that word is. I feel like it starts with a C. I can't remember, but I'm not trying to like pull one over, or I'm not trying to be deceitful, that's what it is, not a C, a D, I'm not trying to be deceitful, I want you guys to see how they really apply always, so I'm just going to go ahead and swatch first ones, oh my god, I love that shade. Ooh, that reminds me of Makeup Week Cocoa Bear. I feel like this row by itself would make a really pretty look. Onto the second row, got some really pretty mattes here. Um, so that's the like more neon-y shades and they do have a little bit of kickback and the pink feels just kind of dry to the touch but still super pigmented. Yeah, definitely kickback. I'm going to go ahead and build up that purple shade just a touch. Just add a little bit more to it. Yeah, that's really pretty. It's kind of like a purple with like pink iridescence to it. Oh wow. So the last shade on this row is like a rose gold shade. It does not look very pretty in the pan. Like, I mean, it looks fine, but it just does not like call out to me. But that looks super pretty. Swatched. Ooh, I like that one too. I feel like that row by itself would make a really pretty, pretty look too. Loving these so far. Um, so there's, so there's the first two rows. I'm going to wipe that off so we can do the last two. So moving on to the third row. It's really pretty purple. Wow. Nice like coppery gold. It's the highlight shade I used in my inner corners. A little more on the subtle side, but it is really pretty. And then this last shade here is like super foiled. It's really pretty too. And then the last shade on this, this row I'm really excited about. This is like a bubblegum pink matte shade. Oh, ooh, it's so pigmented too. Wow, you guys feel like I'm gonna have to do like eight looks with one palette type of video using this because I'm literally like overflowing with inspiration right now swatching these shades and just looking at them I cannot believe I almost didn't buy this I'm crazy this is so good okay so now we're gonna swatch the shades that I mainly used on my eyes today looking beautiful so last row All swatching great. The very last shade is just a nice dark chocolatey matte brown. Which personally I feel like the brown doesn't go with this palette as much. Like I feel like you could definitely do like a wearable look with this palette like super neutral. But I wish that that dark brown had been like a really dark deep purple or a really dark deep blue. Like I feel like that would have went with the palette a little bit more than a brown. I guess they were kind of trying to have like the pops of color and the pops of neutral all together, but I just feel like all these colors would could benefit from something like that. But either way, still swatched really nice. 
Okay, so my final thoughts on this palette. It's no secret, I'm sure you guys already know from watching the video up to this point, that I am very, very happy with this palette and how it turned out. Like, I'm so glad that I purchased it. I'm so happy with it. Like, I love the colors in here. I love the pops. Like, I'm obsessed with the eye look that I did today. And there's so many looks that I'm thinking of in my mind right now. Like, especially, like, this bubblegum cotton candy pink shade. Like, I don't think I have anything else like that in my collection. And I have a lot of eyeshadows, so I feel like that's saying something. I honestly cannot believe that I got this palette for $15. I feel like it is so, so worth that. It's worth even more than that. Like, it is so nice. I love the packaging. Um, it does have a nice little mirror in it. I love the colors, so... I am very, very happy, and if you're going back and forth on it, or you're trying to decide if you need it or not, I definitely recommend it. I think you are getting so much bang for your buck, and I'm going to be doing a ton of tutorials with this palette. I can just feel it. Like, I, I'm i just... I love it. I love BH Cosmetics. I love a lot of the things that they can come out with, and this is just like a plus plus so that is everything for this video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye